welcome back to online classroom Deku Dio. In this video, we are going to look at the last section of 5.1, that is the evaporation of water. What is the meaning of evaporation? It is a process when the liquid turns into gas. So evaporation of water happens when water changes into water vapor. Okay, so let's take a look at this diagram here. The molecules of water at the surface, all right? The evaporation is a process that happens at the surface of water, all right? And uh, another process that turns liquid into gas is called boiling. Boiling does not happen only at the surface. It happens to the whole liquid in the container, whereas evaporation only happens at the surface of water. So let's take a look at this diagram. The water molecules at the surface here normally has higher kinetic energy, meaning they move faster. They move a lot more compared to the rest of the water molecules. So they can escape into the air and turn into water vapor. So it, uh, the, the, this process changes water to water vapor and it's called the evaporation of water. All right, and it occurs at any temperature. If boiling, it only happens at boiling point. But for evaporation, it can happen whether it's hot or cold. It happens at any temperature. Remember, okay? So what are some factors that affect the rate of evaporation? Before we look at the factors, we have to understand what is the meaning of the rate of evaporation. In science, when we, we look, when we have this word rate, when we see the word rate, it means how fast, all right? Rate has to do with time. So the rate of evaporation, meaning how fast can the evaporation happen? What are some of the factors that will affect how fast or how slow evaporation happen? There are actually four factors. Number one, humidity, second, surrounding temperature, third, exposed surface area of water, and also movement of air. We will look at them one by one. Factor number one, humidity. What is the meaning of humidity? It is the amount of water vapor in the surrounding air. For example, in Malaysia, the air in Malaysia has high humidity meaning the air is actually very wet, okay? If the air is wet or dry, that is humidity. So, look at this diagram here. If the air up here is dry, that means there are very less. There's not many water vapor here. That means the water molecules here can escape easier. Why? Because the dry air has bigger space. It can hold more water molecules. It has more space. So there are more water molecules that can escape the surface of this water and into the air and change into water vapor. So the rate of evaporation of water increases as humidity decreases. It is the opposite, okay? It is the opposite. So to test this out, we can carry out this experiment. Before uh, Dekutio explain this experiment, I would like to introduce you to cobalt chloride paper, okay? Cobalt chloride paper. This paper is very special. If it is dry, that means when there's no water, it is blue in color. But if it is wet, all right if water is present it is pink so we can hang two strips of cobalt chloride paper inside two bell jar right one we label as bell jar r and this one will be bell jar s so this cobalt chloride paper will spray with some water to get it wet so it becomes pink and inside bell jar R, we will put a beaker filled with water so that the air inside this jar is wet. It is humid. The humidity in the bell jar 
R is high. Whereas in Belgium S, we put in a beaker filled with some anhydrous calcium chloride. This anhydrous calcium chloride will absorb the water vapor in the air. Okay, so in this bell jar, that means with the presence of uh, calcium chloride, anhydrous, anhydrous calcium chloride, the air here is dry. So in this experiment, you will find that the cobalt chloride paper in bell jar S will turn blue first, meaning it will become dry first. And then we can safely conclude that the rate of evaporation of water actually increases as the humidity decreases. It is the opposite. So we prove our theory. Okay? So how about factor number two? Factor number two is the surrounding temperature. Let's say we go into a forest and have our little camping. And Jekutua accidentally fall into a river. How would I try to dry myself up quicker? All right, I will sit around a campfire. Why? Because the temperature, the higher temperature, will make the uh, the water on my body or on my clothes dry faster, evaporate faster. So there's your answer. So when when there is a higher temperature. That means it will result in a higher rate of evaporation. Why? Let's look at this diagram. If the surrounding temperature is high, the water molecules actually gain more energy. It has more energy from the heat. All right? Then it will move faster. If it moves faster, that means it will escape faster into the air. And hence the higher rate of evaporation. So the rate of evaporation of water actually increases as the surrounding temperature increases. To test this out, we can do this experiment. All right, again, cobalt chloride paper. So we will have two strips of cobalt chloride paper on two different tile, J and K. And we put J away from filament lamp and put K underneath it. And we'll turn on the filament lamp. Why? Because the lamp will release heat. So the surrounding temperature for K is higher. Which one do you think will turn blue faster? You will find that the cobalt chloride paper in tau K will turn blue first. Why? This is because the rate of evaporation actually increases as the surrounding temperature also increases. Okay? Factor number three, exposed surface area of water. Have you ever tried or have you ever helped your parents to hang out laundry? How do you hang out those laundry, especially a big blanket? Normally, we will pull it out, open it wide so that it is as big, as, as wide and as big as possible. It will dry faster, right? So that is the exposed surface area. For example, take a look at this two container. Which one do you think will dry faster? The second one, the one in the middle here. Why? Because the surface area, the exposed surface area of water is bigger. So when this exposed surface area is bigger and wider and larger, that means more water molecules can escape into the air. And hence, the rate of evaporation of water will increase if the surface area of water also increases. All right, to test this out, this is the experiment. We will hang three different filter paper on three different retort stem. For filter paper P, we will not fold it and we will wet it. We'll spray water on it. For filter paper Q, same thing, we will wet it, spray water on it, but we will fold it into half. Okay. For filter paper R, same, we will spray some water, make it wet, but we will fold it two times so that it is only one fourth of the size of the original filter paper. Which one do you think will dry fast? Okay, you will find that filter paper P 
will dry first followed by Q and the last one to dry is filter paper R. Why? Because the rate of evaporation increases if the surface area, the exposed surface area increases as well. So if you compare this three filter paper, which one has the biggest surface area? P. The smallest one will be R. Okay. Let's move on to factors number four, our last factor, the movement of air. All right, the movement of air. If there is wind, movement of air means there is wind, the air is moving, right? If there is wind, it will blow away or sweep away the water vapor in the air. And so it, there will be an empty space here. There will be more space here and enable the water molecules to escape easier because there's more space. So the rate of evaporation of water will increase if the, the movement of air increases. To test this out, we will look at one experiment as well. All right, we will use cobalt chloride paper again and we'll tape them on two different slides, M and N. This one is blue, that means it's, it's dry. So we'll spray some water on it so that it become wet and it become pink. And we put slide M under a moving fan. And slide N, we'll put it away from the fan. Which one do you think will turn blue first? Of course, slide M. Okay, because the rate of evaporation of water increases as the movement of air increases. So we have looked at four different factors that affect the rate of evaporation. Can you remember all four of them? Alright, I will show you the summary. You want to take a screenshot of the slide. Okay, so we have four different factors. Humidity, surrounding temperature, exposed surface area of water and also movement of air. You will find that only humidity is the opposite. When humidity increases, the rate of evaporation will decrease. And for the rest, they are the same. Okay, for the rest of uh, the, the other three factors, they are the same. If the factor increase, the rate also increase. Humidity is the only one that is the opposite. I hope that helped you to remember better, huh? Okay, so now we have learned about evaporation and the rate of evaporation and the factors that affect them. What are some of the applications of what we have just learned? Number one, hanging out laundry. Just like Te Kutio mentioned earlier, how do we hang out laundry? We will make sure they have large exposed surface area when we put them on those lines so that our clothes will dry faster. Secondly, can you identify what it is? Do you know what this is? It's actually the making of sea salt. Sea salt is obtained from the evaporation of sea water. All right, we use evaporation as well. Thirdly, ooh, what is that? Do you like to eat dry fish or even dry prawns, ikan bilis? All these are dry seafood. Why do we dry seafood? So that we can keep them longer. If we evaporate all the water from the seafood, there's no water in the food, in the fish or the prawns, okay? And so, microorganisms also cannot survive. That is why we can keep them longer. Because there's no water for the microorganism to survive. And this is also very common. Ladies, after shower, we will dry our hair with hair dryer. So, refer back to the two factors uh, that affect the rate of evaporation. The air dryer will blow hot air. Number one, the surrounding temperature increases. Number two, the movement of air also increases. And hence, increase the, evap the rate of evaporation of water and make our hair dry faster. Alright? So that's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you in the next video, okay? Bye! 
If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.